this book will have you simultaneously punching the air in feminist triumph and punching your pillow in feminist despair. Wonder Woman by Sam Maggs is about the women who got lost in history. The women who did amazing, incredible things and then some white dude got the credit. And I am loving this book. So far I've read about so many fascinating women that I had never even heard of. Like Lise Meitner, an Austrian physicist in the early 20th century who discovered a bunch of super complicated things that I didn't really understand like isotopes and the Auger effect, named after some other guy who isn't her. And most significantly, nuclear fission, which her male partner won a freaking Nobel Prize for and she didn't. I've also read about Agino Ginko, a Japanese doctor in the late 19th, early 20th century who fought for the right to women to become doctors, in large part because some female patients were literally just dying rather than go through the shame of having a male doctor treat them for STDs or even to look at them while they were pregnant. And then there's Mary Bowser, an American spy who we really don't know very much about because she was born a slave and therefore not really considered worth anything, but she was a badass spy. She captured Confederate soldiers and helped imprisoned Union soldiers. I had never heard of any of these women and yet they are every bit as heroic as the white dudes that we learned about every year in history at school. And I have so much more still to read. In this book there are 25 women featured with full biographies but also at the end of each chapter there's an interview with a woman working in that field today. So for example there's an interview with computer scientist Lynn Conway who made some really incredible research contributions to IBM but then got fired because she revealed she was transitioning. And there's also an interview with Erica Baker who's an engineer at Slack and also a diversity advocate. And there are some shorter paragraphs at the end of each chapter listing a few more women in each field and every time I've been so intrigued I've gone to google those women as well. As well as being fascinating I love the way this book is written. It's in depth but it's also very light-hearted and humorous and it keeps making me laugh even when I'm feeling so cross at the unfairness of how these women have been treated in history, particularly women of colour. I have been savouring this book. I haven't finished it yet because I'm deliberately pacing myself because there's just so much to learn I want to really take in these women's stories. So if you want to read it, Wonder Woman comes out on the 4th of October if you're in the US or if you just want to get the Kindle version. If you're in the UK and you want to wait for the physical version, that will be out on the 18th of October. And here's the best part. If you pre-order it now, before the 3rd of October, then you'll be able to download some gorgeous wallpapers for your phone, tablet or laptop. You just have to follow the link that I will put in the description box below. These wallpapers have been specially designed by the amazing illustrators Jen Bartel and Paulina Ganucho, and they showcase some of these amazing women from history, so great to rep them on your phone background. You'll also be entered into a prize draw to win a one-of-a-kind framed and signed print by these illustrators, also signed by the author of the book, Sam Max. So do it, do it, do it! This book is so much fun and I feel like it's really important for us to learn about how influential women have been even when history has totally ignored it. So don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, comment below if you're planning to pre-order the book and subscribe to this channel for new videos every Friday where I drink wine and chat about books. See you there! The Melody of You and Me is an LGBT new adult novella. I had a lot of fun reading this one, particularly some rather enjoyable sex scenes. If I want to go into town and get this book first I need to learn how to ride a bike. I'm so nervous. <laughs>